Yeah, yo, yeah, yo, everyone. We're on the grand finale. Dr. J's attorney here with Terminator Zettel episode eight. Um, whether or not this is a one and done series or if they leave room for a sequel, we'll have to wait and see towards the end. But um, I need to see if my boy Kenta, uh, not my boy, he definitely isn't. I don't like him, but I don't want him to bite the big one. I just wanted Hiro to beat him up a little bit so that he stops, you know, treating Misaki terribly. Um, and not only her, Reika as well. No, yeah, I, I'm Kenta needed to be taught a lesson, but not from a T1000, okay? So let's see what happens here. Let's get the grand finale for episode eight underway. Don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and click that bell icon, most importantly, so you stay up to date whenever we upload new content. Let's not waste any more time. Terminator Zero, season one finale in three, two, one, but bam. Oh, okay, they're still in Catland. It's a trick. Oh, could it be? Are they maybe not trying to do anything? They just want to talk. What if they come in peace? Get off me. Oh. Who is us? Isn't it? Correct. Yes. Oh. Mm. Your life. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Let's see if he does it. Dad. No. No. So something's gonna save Kenta. Oh. Oh my god! For, no. There's no way. Okay, yeah, I'm about to say, there's no way they're doing that. Because, like, it doesn't gain anything from killing Kenta. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna make it slow. Yeah, but yeah, because I'm about to say, if, 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 if he if he were to kill Kenta, he, the, the, the T-1000 gains nothing. Now, now it's for sure locked out of the, out of the, the room. So yeah, but if he if he hears the screams of his kid, then you know that's gonna be a lot harder. He's not gonna make it quick for Kenta. Oh, you're gonna learn quick. Oh, explosives. Ooh. No, I'll try. I'll try. Yeah. Is he like breaking the arm? Oh, he's opening it. Oh my God. God damn. Listen, understand. You failed. What's he scanning? Updating. New priority mission. Oh boy, no, here we go. It, yeah, they're about to. Ooh. ooh, in the back. Whoa, did he hit Kenta at all with that? Did she hit did she, I don't know. That was a machine gun. That 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 could have got him in the leg. Pool. Oh, yeah, that one's still fresh. There we go, Misaki. There we go. Mm. Is she in combat mode? No, not really. Not yet. Ooh. 
Cle oh, okay. Double punch. I like it. Goku Vegeta. I mean, why not aim for the head, I guess? To, I don't know. Maybe the chest is the weak spot. Uh Come on. It's the only option. Oh. Oh boy, what about Misaki? You better help her. What about Misaki? Don't want to abandon her. Now, oh, Kokoro. He's not going to shut it down. He is not going to shut it down. Do, 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 do. Come on, Aiko. Help her out. Help our girl. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, oh, god damn. It's it, Yeah, it's not pulling its punches anymore. Okay, Kenta's helping. Well, he wants to help. Oh. Oh, oh who, who saved him? Who saved him? Mechanical. Oh, is she? Is, that, is this her? No. This is the... Oh, it, it's saving him. What's the new directive? Target identify escort subject. It wants to use him clearly for the EMP trigger. Mm, mm, ooh, damn! Oh, man. It's time, Kokoro. Okay, let's see. Convince her. Please convince her. Pew, pew, pew. Is it going? Is it going underground? Oh, it's it's like an elevator. Oh God! Oh man! It, it it's gonna tear the skin off at this point. Hmm. Nope. Wake up, girl. There we go. Ooh. hey -o. Well, that, that thing's useless. It's gonna get another nail. Oh, no, not yet. Nani. Oh, that's gonna blow up. <laughs> Boom. It's it's gonna go no, don't walk towards it. Oh my god. It's it's literally gonna jump out and grab her by the throat. Literally. Yeah, right there. God, it's so dumb, man. Like, why? Why even walk that close to it? Ooh. Oh! Oh, God! She lost that hand. No, yeah, that, that, that hand's gone. There it is. There it is. Oh, my God. What's he gonna do? Is the AI unifying? Ooh, yeah, it's gone. No, you gotta amputate that. That's gone. There is no fixing that. Oh, hello. Malcolm? Malcolm? Whoa, okay. Some smoke. Uh, something. Nitrogen? No. Oh dear. Oh, whoa, no, it is, it is. It's freezing him. Or liquid nitrogen or whatever. 
Mm. No! It got him! No! Oh, God. Well, I mean, he could maybe survive that? I don't know. It got him. It got him. There it is. I mean, it's not in all the way. Ah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. It, it's done. He's dead. He's dead. No. I'm thinking he can maybe survive, potentially. But, nah, I don't know. Oof. Okay. Okay, so it's taking him. Okay, no, no. He, he's there. He's still there. Yeah. He's still there. Dude, that... Oh, man. I can't even imagine how much that hand is uh, must be in pain. They're, like, merging. I don't know if that's, like, part of the process he wanted them to do. Hmm. He only wants to see Reika. No matter what happens now. You've seen it? Compassion. Mm. New directive. The EMP device disabled. What does he need him? But whoa, through him. You to die. I don't know about that. Oh wow, it's, it's leaving him there? Or you could come with me. Whoa, it's kind of being manipulative. Another future. What the hell? What? Oh, snap. It, it, it's trying to do something. Mother. That did look like her in the last episode. I was like, but no, that doesn't make any sense. That is her. She's from a future where um, she didn't go back to the past. When? Answers will come. When they should. Okay. Because, yeah, the redhead girl looked like um, her. It's a time loop. We're just going in circles. No one knows what will happen, child. The prophet. The prophet. She's gonna she's gonna remember that. You can. Damn. Your mission is to look at your grandchildren. So those are her grandkids. So if mm, an EMP. Trying to output a burst of tens of energy. Okay. But it spends it to trigger it. Mm. 
Why? Yeah, why would he do that? He was sent me back. Was it him? No, stop. Told me you would. Who? John Connor? You, oh, him, him. Okay. Years from now. So has he become a villain? You broker an alliance between mankind and Skynet. The first of its kind in hopes of mutual. What the hell? Either I'm lying. I'm gonna kill you. to protect itself i know you have many other i i got so many questions what the hell will present itself is in your mind okay Which will you do? Detonate or abort? So these we, we I, okay, no. Let me let, let me let me say it for the end. We can all be at peace. It's unifying into something. Ooh, Patara fusion. Ooh, okay, that's a hand. What does it look like now? Look at that. She looks like, what does she look like? She looks like someone. She looks like a god from like Smite or something. I don't know. Blip. Part of me, I, so I think there's like a bunch of timelines at work here. There's a timeline where Aiko stays and, you know, gives birth to um, Malcolm. There's a timeline where um, the sun grows up and brokers an alliance between Skynet and uh, humanity. And he's got to make a choice. This is, oh man, this is interesting. This is interesting. Cause I have so many questions. Oh man, hey, hold the line! Don't give him an inch! <laughs> Yo, he is trying. Mm. He did his best. What, what are you gonna do, man? Can you handle pressure? Can you handle pr Ooh, he's holding the door. He- Ooh! Okay. What are you doing? Decide- Oh, okay. There- There- Yeah, he's done. He's gone. They ripped him apart. He's probably seeing the horror of machines before his eyes. Pew. There it is. Can the eye talk to him? Nope. The eye can't talk to him. They're not even sprinting at him. They're just like... What are they gonna do? What are you gonna do, buddy? Abort? Don't come... Oh, yeah. Hmm. Some mind. 
Mm. Double meaning words, I don't know. He's gone. They are. Ask me to put your trust in me. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, there's still Skynet. Uh, yeah, I'm about to say. He still gotta take care of that. Or roll the dice. Roll the dice with Skynet. That's probably the best way to let him decide. Just literally leave. It's up to you, buddy. He, yeah, he, he, he's not going to deactivate her. You're not going to detonate it. He's not. He's not the same Kenta from the future. Whoa, oh, no, you better, you better not. It's going to end there, isn't it? It's going to end there. Don't. It went to, okay, yeah, abort. Okay, he, he yeah, he put it to abort. There we go. History's not set in stone. Mm. Damn. You have many unanswered questions. So many. Upload complete temporal 1883 Tokyo. Okay. Will present itself. Mm. What happens now? Does it? What is that? Are those? Oh, but it's detonating in the air. Kokoro's protecting them. Yeah, yeah. It's like a barrier. Mm. Kenta. What we think in Kenta. He's probably not gonna go with them. He's gonna wander off on his own. Oh. Not when they have you. Is he gonna go? Mm. Development. He took off the bandage. Okay. Something wild's gonna happen, man. I don't know what, but something's gonna end this uh, on something.
What's going on? What's happening? Oh, new relationship, grandchildren. Ooh, right? That's okay. Back in time. They're friendly. Now, for the first time. Right. We're unmoored. What will happen from here? I, I am curious what's gonna happen from here. Uncertainty. It's clear. Things will get worse. Get better. Ooh, are they gonna build them? They're, they're gonna rebuild them or something. Okay. Interesting. Wow. All right, guys. No, this was this was great. This was great. This was great. As to what they're going to use the T1000 for from there, I mean, there's a lot of things. Maybe, maybe she might try rebuilding a version of uh Malcolm. And I mean, I don't know what they're going to do with a T-1000 that looks like Malcolm. Uh, I don't know if she's going to have him as his own personal guard. Or maybe she's going to somehow download the data. Um, You know what? Mm, here's what I think might happen. What she might do, because she doesn't know about what the T-1000 was going to do with Malcolm at the end there with the EMP. Um... You know, she thought that, you know, he was just scared of her and, you know, she's a machine. He doesn't trust her. But I don't think she knows. I could be wrong, but I don't think she knew exactly what the T-1000 knew about him being from the future and how they broke her a deal with Skynet. So it's possible that she's going to download the data that is in this T-1000 that they destroyed. And she's going to learn, hold up, wait a minute, Kenta is uh someone that may be dangerous because he's gonna in the future we don't know the context or she might know the context from downloading his data but in the future he's able to broker a deal with skynet and um and 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 that's all she needs to know she knows skynet is the enemy so at that point now kokoro becomes somewhat of a villain or someone that they're running away from again but in a different form of context this is interesting this is interesting. This is interesting. I wonder what they're going to do with that T-1000 head. Um, because there is room for a season two. We don't, like, Kokoro is still a blank slate. She could still turn over a, a new leaf where she thinks humanity is a problem. Or maybe she just thinks Kenta is a problem, specifically. And he's still on the fence of whether or not to trust, you know, um, the machines or Misaki at that. So for a season two... I could see them building off of that. Um, so, yeah. And then it looks like there's multiple timelines at work here. We have a timeline where um, Aiko stays in the future and she gives birth to Malcolm. We have a future where I guess Malcolm still gets to the past, but stuff happens to where he still grows up into being a resistance leader and brokers a deal with Skynet and humanity whatever context that looks like we don't know if that's a war-torn future or if yeah i mean we don't know we don't know but multiple timelines at play here that give birth to this new timeline uh that we're in right now i'm i'm curious man i am very curious how this is all gonna play out there's still a lot of unanswered questions you know, was was Malcolm a resistance leader? Uh, does John Connor play a role in any of this? Like, no. See, this is what I like about this. And this is what I feel like Star Wars, to an extent, needs to do. They need to stop, like, being, I guess, locked into legacy characters and feeling the need to always make legacy characters relevant in the stories that they tell. Because I was totally fine them not mentioning one time Sarah Connor or John Connor directly. They're saying, hey, you know, there's multiple resistance leaders and important people in history that are relevant to what happens in this time period. Um, but, you know, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. They don't need to mention John Connor here. They don't need to mention Sarah Connor. They're not relevant to the current plot. And I'm okay with that. Similar to Star Wars, where it's like you don't need to always mention Anakin or a Skywalker or whoever to make the story interesting. Um, so, yeah, this was uh, the season as a whole. Oh, oh, oh the ending, I, I, I like the ending. 
the plot is resolved we get a, a a resound resolution and it leaves the door open for a potential season two as a series as a whole i loved it i absolutely love terminator zero um it makes me interested in the terminator franchise again um to make me wonder what direction they're they're gonna go in next if they go in with the season two i hope they really do because i really have not cared for the movies in the long run for years like in all honesty but this anime kind of ignites my interest again in the franchise and that alone should be commended that's that's fantastic i would give this one like a solid nine out of ten the only reason why it doesn't get to a 10 is because there are some some annoying parts when it comes to like um like when the terminator is hunting down like the characters that are relevant to the plot it somehow misses all of its shots or when it's like punching them it's like doing like bare minimum chip damage it's it, it again it's it's nothing too serious but at the same time it was like damn man like you're really missing all your shots but whenever you're up against like an npc character you're you're john rambo in there you're like point blank boom 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 you get all of them but again minor minor problems minor issues i i i love this series man this series was fantastic i highly recommend anyone that hasn't watched it to go and watch it and uh give some love to it so that it gets a season two i want a season two from this series this was great um the fan theories are going to be shooting out the wazoo for this one um let me know what you all think down in the comments below um because again from what i remember if we're going by terminator 3 logic this is obviously a different timeline because in terminator 3 judgment day got delayed to like 2003 or something but if we're going by terminator 2 logic judgment day still happens in 1997 so um and then also terminator 2 that also leads into terminator um terminator dark fate terminator dark fate ignores the stuff that happens in terminator 3 salvation and genesis from what i know um it just it just pretends that terminator uh 2 is the canon one in that timeline but either way i'm glad this anime ignores all of that it, it, it doesn't try to like sandwich its way into trying to fit into one of these movies timeline or whatever it's doing its own thing it doesn't care it's like hey listen time travel is a confusing plot device let's try to make sense of it to a degree um and have fun with it i had fun i had fun and that's all that matters. I want to know what happens with these characters like Eiko, Reika, Kenta, even though I had some ups and downs with him. Kenta, Hiro, and uh, and yeah, Misaki. What happens with Kokoro and, and the T-1000 that they salvaged? Let me know what you all think down in the comments below. Did you enjoy Terminator Salvation? What are you looking forward to most with this series? Do you want to see a season two? I I'm telling you. Netflix with animation, I, I've been saying it for the last like year and a half to two years. They've been hitting it out of the park in their animation department, for better or worse. Uh, they've been like really dedicated to the craft of it. So let me know what you all think. Do you want a season two? And we'll catch you on the next one. If you guys enjoyed the video, you already know what to do. Leave a thumbs up down below. It helps the channel a lot more than you know. Subscribe to the uh, channel as well if you're new. And click the bell icon, most importantly, so you stay up to date whenever we upload new content. I am Dr. Jason Turney, folks. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.